Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're now going to paper mache our puppet. Um, so here she is. Um, now before we start, um, we're just going to remove the, very carefully remove the skewer from both the body and the head. And just double check for sure that the string, the glue has dried, which is attaching the string to the head and the body. Just make sure that the string's not going to fall out while we're paper mashing, because that'll be annoying. And actually, when I just started to film this next bit, mine hadn't dried, so I started to film and it fell out and I had to start again. Not start, yeah, I had to start the filming again and, you know, restick the string. So just double check, and if it does come out, then restick, and then you'll have to wait for it to dry again. Um, so once it's fully dry, we're going to move on to the next bit. Now paper mache is really easy. You just need some newspaper and some PVA glue. Um, so um, you first of all need to get your sheet of newspaper. So here we are. Um, and newspaper tends to tear more easily in one direction than the other direction. And it tends to tear sort of downwards along the page like the same direction that the writing's going in so just tear just start tearing it into strips and you want the strips to be a couple of centimeters wide not really any bigger than that um, and you've got to do the whole do the whole um, do the whole sheet um, I've already torn a load in advance so I'm just going to show that for the demonstration and then once you've got your long strips, then you just need to tear all of those up into smaller pieces. So you're left with like a load of little pieces like that. And do that for all your strips until you're left with a load of little pieces like this. And now, like, you know, when we did the, when we covered our silver foil head in masking tape, I was saying how it was much easier to get into the little crevices and the details when you've got smaller bits of masking tape. Exactly the same goes for this part. So we want to take some of our bigger pieces and make a second pile of little tiny pieces. So I tend to just get the bigger pieces and I just tear them into thinner strips, probably about the same width as my little finger. Um, you know, and some bits you can have even shorter. So just spend a little bit of time doing that. Just so for the head, you've got some smaller pieces as well as some bigger pieces which are fine for the details like the body which you don't need much detail for so here's some tiny bits that I've got for the head and the face got my pile there and then I've got a second pile of slightly bigger pieces so um yeah great so I'm going to start now and I've got my PVA glue here uh, which is just standard school glue you can get it anywhere um and I've just watered it down with a little bit of water <laughs> funnily enough um, and so it's just a slightly thinner consistency than it was before I put the water in. Just means it's easier to spread when you paper mache. So here we are. Um, I'm going to start with the head. So I'm just going to, again, hopefully your head, the string isn't going to come apart. Um, so I've just put some glue. some glue on my paintbrush like that and then I'm just gonna put some on the face just sort of one area of it and then the area where I've put the glue on I'm just gonna take a smaller bit of my uh, newspaper because that's the bit that's good for the details and just where on top of where I've put the glue I'm just gonna pop the newspaper on and then I'm going to cover over it with more glue. Okay, so the paper is kind of sandwiched between the glue. So that's one piece. And I'm just going to continue doing that, kind of like we did with the masking tape, making sure that you very slightly make the pieces overlap just so that there's no gap between them. Um, so, if, as you can see, getting right into the crevices. And I'm just going to cover the whole head like that. So I'm going to put my glue on. And I'm going to put my pieces of paper on. Um, so make sure there's glue down first before you put the paper on. Otherwise it won't stick. Okay. 
and just make sure you get right in the crevices. And what you can do is, if it's easier to do it lying down, which it might be, you might start by just doing one side of the face first, otherwise it will get really sticky. So I've just decided to do that now. So I'm going to just cover this side of the head in the glue. I'm going to add my, my newspaper. And doing one side and then the other once it's dry just stops you getting too gluey. But you could just try and do it all at once. Depends how messy you get. And I'm going to be quite careful not to block up the hole that I've made um, for my skewer. Both underneath the head and on top of the head. So I'm just going to try and be careful not to do that. Um, and the tip of the nose is a very small detail, so I'm going to get a really thin bit for this. Might even make it thinner. And again, you just want to make sure there's no gaps between the pieces of paper, so it's fully covered. The masking tape is all covered. stop here to show you that my string has come attached from my head but I've decided that is okay because I'm just going to finish paper mache in the head and then stick it on back on once it's done And yeah, just to remind again, try not to cover up the little holes at the bottom of the head. Okay, so I've finished in the head. I ended up just doing the whole thing. Um, so I'm just going to leave it to dry um, on a surface that isn't paper because obviously then it will stick to it. So I'm just going to leave it. I've got this plastic down here, so that's quite a good way of leaving it to dry there. Um, and then I'm just going to do the same on the body. So I'm just going to paper mache the body. And I think in this case, I probably will have to do one side and then the other once it's dry because it's a big surface. So again, just covering it with glue. And then stick in the paper on and cover that in glue. Oh, and also make sure you do the inside bit. Yeah, some of the inside if you can, especially where we've got the pennies. So seal that masking tape with the pennies underneath up properly. Just got to do some paper mash over that. Um, as you can see, I'm sort of wearing this like a glove because I find that when it's on my hand, I can kind of hold the, um, cause where it gets wet, the paper is starting to sag a little bit. So I've got my hand inside just to kind of support it as I'm holding it.
and because this bit is a bit of a smaller detail as well um, the shape here I'm going to make slightly smaller pieces of newspaper for that too. And also take good care to make sure you cover where we've stuck our bit of string, our arm string to the back of the body. Make sure that's all covered too because we want that bit to not fall off because the masking tape won't last forever. So I'm going to just make sure that I've also cover in the masking tape where it's stuck here in glue and I'm going to stick my strips of new piece of paper on that as well. But I am going to take care not to the joint between the shoulder and the arm where we've got this little bit of tiny little bit of string showing. We want to keep that string without glue on it if we can so yeah try to paper mache around that bit. It gets quite soggy so it can be a bit tricky this bit. Um, also remember to keep the hole at the top of the body not covered. So I've just covered all of my masking tape which is holding my um, string onto the back. I've just made sure that I've really paper mache that securely. And also remember to do the arms too. Um, so this is now getting a bit too sticky so I'm going to let it dry and then come back to finish the paper mache in um, once these bits are dry. Um, so I have finished the first layer of paper mache, um, I did the first side, I then let it dry and then I turned it over and did the second side. Um, and actually because the paper dress part doesn't have anything solid inside because it doesn't have like the, um, the foil in, um, it tends to sort of like collapse a bit when the glue's wet on it. So um, I'd just say be aware of that and I've also done the inside as well so I've done a layer on the inside uh, I've done a whole layer on both sides uh, and then I've actually started to do a second layer with the brown paper this is just brown paper bag you know that you just get in shops like grocery bags um, I'm doing the second layer in that just because it then ma it makes it easier to see um, what I've already done so um, that's for the second layer and I'm just going to do the kind of thinner area, the kind of like hollow area. I'm just going to do a second layer just on that part, the sort of skirt part. Um, and I've done this side, it's very wet, so I'm going to leave it to dry before doing the second side. Um, yeah, uh, and then I'm going to actually leave it to dry standing up because, as I've said before, where it's wet, the, the weight of the glue and stuff tends to make this collapse. Uh, which we don't want. We want it to be nice and sort of like round because that's how the puppet stands up really. So um, I'm going to let it stand upright like that so it doesn't collapse. Uh, and then when it's dry, I'm going to do the second side of the uh, of the dress, this front bit here. <laughs> 